the lush green layer that we see on the ground has various layers of soil beneath it. These layers of soil vary for different types of soil. But usually, all soil types consist of five common layers. These different layers are also referred to as horizons. about these five horizons one layer at a time. The topmost layer is called the O-horizon. This can also be called the organic layer. Why? Because it is a very thick layer rich in organic contents such as grass, dead leaves, twigs, surface organisms and other decomposed organic components. This layer can be found in shades of brown, mostly dark brown, due to the presence of natural and organic materials. The next layer is called the A horizon, which is commonly known as the topsoil. It is soft and porous in nature and can hold enough air and water to sustain plants and organisms. It is also known as the hummus layer because of its rich organic content. The part of the soil where you dig in to sow new seeds of plants is this topsoil. It is also home to many microorganisms such as fungi, earthworms, etc. Just below the topsoil sits the B horizon called the subsoil. It is made up of organic matter and other minerals, metal salts such as iron oxide mixed with clay soil which makes the color of the soil lighter than the other two layers. Since the amount of hummus present in this layer is less, the subsoil is a little harder and more compact than the topsoil. Many farmers mix the topsoil and subsoil to plow their fields. Next comes the sea horizon, which consists of weathered and half decomposed rocks. It lies just above the bedrock and can be found in a yellowish red color. It comprises parent materials such as lake residues, dirt, and semi solid rocks. The final layer of soil is the bedrock. As the name suggests, it is a bed made up of different types of rocks such as basalt, limestone, granite and other hard rocks. It is typically buried beneath soil and other unconsolidated material called regolith in the earth's surface. Friends, did you know that you can measure the moisture content in the soil? Yes! You can do so by using a device called a tensiometer. <laughs>